All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of God Greeting Guile. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. But first, your opinion is a lot. What we're going to talk about today, guys, is this full-blown forced labor cult that Apostle David E. Taylor of Joshua Media Ministries, Kingdom of God Global Church, or Marvels in America World Healing is running down in Lutz, Florida. All right, listen up. This is a full-blown forced labor cult, everybody, and here's why. Is because one, he's not paying his members. Okay, he's paying them. If he's paying them, it's it's in goods and services. It's they're not getting an actual paycheck, but he for sure is everybody working the shit out of them. So that is forced labor. He brings them in from out of state, and we I have interviews on this channel that prove that people have come in from out of state and have been actually fucked over by this guy, and that that does the dynamics of human trafficking are all here, everybody. Okay. It's not sex trafficking. It's human trafficking labor. You can, th there's different types of trafficking. Different types. There is, there is uh, sex trafficking. There is labor trafficking. There is, uh, let's see here. There's, there's different dynamics to human trafficking, okay? There's about three different criteria, and then about each criteria carry about five or six different dynamics of human trafficking. Here are the three most common types of human trafficking. And this is according to, what is this? This is SFHRC, humanrightscommission.org. Okay, so humanrightscommission.org, the types of human trafficking, okay? Domestic servitude, agricultural work, manufacturing, janitorial, hotel, construction, health and elder care, hair and nail salons, prostitution, strip club dancing. Those are, those are the most common, okay? Perceptions of human trafficking often involve women forced into prostitution. Just as, that's just one aspect of human trafficking, absolutely. If, if anybody paid attention to Grady Judd, he's that badass down in Florida, man. They just busted a huge, huge human trafficking ring. All right, and I urge everybody to go down there and listen to about the first five minutes of it, okay? Grady Judd, he brought out a lot of good points about the dynamics of human trafficking. And what he said was that, hey... You know, human traffickers, like people who are involved in human trafficking, they'll say like, hey, this person does this for me, or they'll take me here, or they'll buy me food here, or they'll buy me clothes. There is no monetary exchange within these within this cult. There isn't. David is not fucking paying his people. Why would he? He's got all these properties he's got to keep up, guys. And this is also where the human trafficking dynamic comes into play. All the properties. What the fuck does a church, a corrupt church for that matter, one who's been on the radar since 2017 about his corruption. Why does this guy need that many properties, everybody? What are they for? What are they for? Anybody care to elaborate on that? I mean, really? What is one church? What does this church need multiple multi-million dollar mansions for? If I was doing this shit, I'd be arrested and thrown in jail and the IRS would be auditing every fucking dollar I have. The three most common types of human trafficking, sex trafficking, forced labor, and debt bondage. I do believe there could be some debt bondage going on with David. I believe that. I believe with Michelle, because she said in her deposition that she actually had to borrow money from David, like $1,600. I could see that as a fucking debt bondage. You know, Michelle said she's doing really well there. Well, well Michelle's deposition, if anybody remembers, they that Michelle said, oh, I had to borrow money for rent. So what does that fucking tell you, Michelle? Michelle tells you that you're not making a fucking dime there. What are you getting paid, Michelle? Nothing? Getting paid in David's fucking sweat drops and his fucking nasty fucking... Ugh, Michelle, get out, dude. <clears throat> Signs of human trafficking, all right? Listen up. Pay very close attention, guys. These are signs. And this, this isn't shit I'm making up. This is the Human Rights Council. I do not make this up, okay? This is coming straight off an organizational website, human trafficking, who... These these dynamics are made up by the governments, okay? World governments are, are making these up, okay? Not me. Let's see here. Signs of human trafficking. Think they are bonded by debt. Have limited contact with their families or with people outside of their immediate environment. Fuck Yes. If you're saying yes to three more than three of these, then it's a fucking human trafficking dynamic, uh, human trafficking ring. Okay, so listen up. I definitely have limited contact with families. Yes, limited or no social interaction. Fuck yeah. 
Work excessively long hours over periods? Fuck yes. Um, unable to negotiate working conditions? Fuck yeah. David negotiates all these working conditions for these people here, guys. Nobody else dictates that except asshole David E. Taylor. Okay? No access to their earnings? Nope. They don't get, they don't get paid. These people don't get paid, everybody. David pulled a $30,000 PPP loan, though, right? Where'd that money go, David? Where's that $30,000 that you pulled for, you know, personal protection for your ministry that you don't fucking pay your workers? They're all volunteers, so who are you paying, David? Who the fuck are you paying? You're not paying Michelle. David's getting fucking paid. That's who's getting paid here, everybody. David E. Taylor. Nobody else. This is a forced labor cult. Forced labor, everybody. Let's see. Not... Not know their home or work address. You know, I would like to think that these people know their home or work address. Show signs that their movement is controlled. Fuck yeah. Everybody's movement is controlled in this cult. Yep, they tell you when, where, who, what, when, where, why, and how. They tell you what to do, when to do it, how to do it, where to do it, who to do it with. Everything, guys. It is a full-blown forced labor cult. Have, have false identity or travel documents. I don't think they have false identities. I think these people all have like legit, you know, documents to show, show signs that their movement is controlled though, but for sure. Um, again, forced labor. Definitely a family gives up a child to an adoption agent in Nepal because they can't afford to care for him. He is then turned, sold to a sweatshop. That's forced labor. That's, but the, here, here's the thing. Forced labor, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sweatshop. Like, it can be almost like indentured servitude like these people, like David has these people working on the phone just to fucking scam money so they can pay David. That's it. They pay David. They pay David. Um, back to what Grady Job was saying, too, and I want to get a, a good website out there, too, uh, real quick. If you have, if you think you have, a, if your child is involved in a cult or there, you do believe that there's trafficking going on, you can either contact DCF, with it, which is the Department of Child and Family, okay, and that was on, on Grady Judd's. I recommend everybody just listen to the first five minutes and listen to the ladies at the end, okay? Because there's some good resources there for people who, who may be involved in this cult that want to get the fuck out, all right? There is ways for you guys to get out, and there are people ready to help. And these women are there ready to help. You don't even got to go through us. Fucking use them. Use those people. That way it can remain anonymous. We don't have to know shit about it. That's how it will go. These women are ready there to help these people out of these cults. They really are. One is um, one is called onemorechild.org. All right. I looked up their website. It's extremely legit. I even made a couple phone calls. Um, so I definitely recommend everybody look into that one and the other one, dcf.org. Okay. Onemorechild.org is down in Polk County, Florida. If you believe you're there, you have, if you have a child in this cult, listen up. If you have a child in this cult and you want to get them the fuck out, I highly recommend you call those people. Okay. Those people are there to help and they will listen. That's what they're there for. There are people out there ready to help get these people out of these religious cults being trafficked in. It's not sex trafficking. They, this cult isn't sex trafficking. It's it's labor trafficking. That's what it's it's a it's basic it's a it's a money laundering labor machine. That's it. It's it's a it's a money laundering machine. That's David's get down is money laundering. Let's see here. What are the, the needs? The needs of these survivors, they're going to the, they're gonna need help immediately, guys. Like pretty much th there's got to be people waiting outside the gates of these places ready to swoop them up and take them in. That's how quick this action has to be because if not, like these people risk really – we've talked about it, suicide, man. Some of these people run a high risk of suicide because of the amount of manipulation that has gone into it to, the, to fucking these people over. And if you can dial 988 for the suicide hotline if you need somebody to talk to, they're there to help you also, okay? The suicide hotline is real. You can text, chat, call, whatever. Take your pick. They are there to help. So, again, the inaction, the inaction in our own government is what's caused this, really. Look at what happened with Jeffrey Epstein. That shit is happening right under their fucking nose. In my opinion, the same thing could be going on here. This is just me thinking outside the box, everybody. Why wouldn't it be? He's behind... He's behind his high walls, okay, in a Vila Country Golf and Country Club down there in Tampa, Florida, in, in Lutz. He's hiding behind these high walls. Who can? Who's going to pay attention to him? Nobody. 
bring in anybody he wants. He's got numerous vehicles. He's got means of travel, numerous mansions. And, and there, there's, there are articles out there, guys. There's articles, and I, I urge everybody to look up the articles. you got some on Riverfront Times, trinityfi.org. You've got ministrywatch.com. That are, they're all out there paying attention to these guys, and they've all written articles about David saying, hey, why is this guy getting these tax exemptions when he's been filed? I'm fine. We're all filing. There's numerous, numerous on the channel filing fraud against this idiot. Why isn't the IRS getting involved? Why isn't the feds getting involved? This, there's a full-blown human trafficking cult going on right there in Avila Country Club. I think it's, it's ironic. It's, I don't even want to call it ironic, everybody. It's, he's living in this upscale neighborhood running a full-blown forced labor cult. And there's people in this, in this country club don't even have a fucking clue. These, he's already scamming the vendors there. He'll, I, no doubt. I, no doubt. It wouldn't surprise me if some of the vendors are already thinking about joining his fucking cult. You guys got to be very careful down there. 706 Guisando de Avia. Let me say it right. Guisando de Avia. Guisando de Avia, which was... Dude, the place is huge. 30,000 square feet. Why does that fucking lard ass need that mansion? What does he need it for? Why does he need all of them? It's a 30,000 square foot mansion with a like 2,800 square foot guest house. 14 fireplaces. It's, it's a fucking... It's a castle. And the way the article was written that David's the king. And he is. He's king of the castle. Nobody can question David about shit. That's why all these people there are scared. And just... These people are trapped. This, there's a human... This is forced labor cult, everybody. We need to stop them. We need to make the government aware. Because the government hasn't done shit. In the meantime, people are still being destroyed. I have proof of that. Okay, There are sources on my channel that I don't... That tell me, yes, my family's been destroyed by this asshole. There's even comments on the channel saying, hey, my my friend just fucking divorced, divorced her husband because of this asshole. They got kids. There's people involved. Ch- kids, women, children. Families, families being split up. Alimony's being taken. 401ks. Houses. This has gone just off the fucking deep end, everybody. You're talking a... Fuck, man. Ask anybody who's been paying attention to David E. Taylor. In my opinion, this is going beyond Jim Jones. In my opinion, too, I believe David's sleeping with some men, too. Jim Jones did the same thing. It's all it's all part of the power power complex. Dave, I mean, David sure does talk a lot about the LGBTQ community, you know, which leads me to believe he's got something to hide. He has a lot of disdain for that, which I, I don't. I have a lot of friends in the LGBT community, and I, they're, they're a lot of fucking fun, man. Those are some of the fucking coolest people, in my opinion. <laughs> Coolest people, man. I love hanging. They're fun. Um, so David, to have all this disdain, it's leading me to believe that he's got something to hide from everybody, you know. And and the dynamics of Jim Jones are all showing here, everybody. I not David Koresh. He wasn't sleeping with the men. He was just he was sleep taking the women away from the men. David does this too. He's taking the women away from the men and then sleeping with them. And again. It, a lot of people mention it on the channel. Hey, why is David always got so much disdain for the for the LGBTQ community? Does is he hiding something? And we all believe he is. So David, it's okay, dude. It's twenty twenty two. It's cool, man. It's all right. It's okay. <clears throat> and again, the, the dynamics here. We're going back to human trafficking. It's it's all there, everybody. It's all there. The dynamics for this to be human trafficking is it's all there, guys. Why isn't the government stepping up their game? The IRS just got $80 billion. Why Why haven't they stepped up their game to bust this guy? $80 billion and they can't stop this guy? Really? Does anybody question our government when they do shit like that? I mean, I would like to think that we would be able to, to go to the IRS and request every fucking receipt for that $80 billion. You think they'd give us that, guys? I don't think they will. That's just... I don't think they're going to give us any any idea of where that money came or where it's going to. But $80 billion the IRS just got, and they can't stop these kind of these types of people. Why? Because it's religion, and they're scared. They're getting paid off. Who knows? <clears throat> I don't think David's paying anybody off. He's too fucking broke. He's David's going to be hurt right now with all these properties. I mean, the taxes alone, you guys. He just got done paying out about one hundred and sixty, about one hundred fifty, one hundred sixty thousand dollars worth of taxes. Just in property taxes, everybody. Just in property taxes. Just for this last year. 
So he's got to maintain that now. He, he's trying to take multiple exemptions. It's, it's absolutely what he's trying to do in different states. He wants to take multiple exemptions in different states, which he can't do. And he's got different names. So he's trying to take multiple exemptions in multiple states under different names. And it's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. Not as long as we're filing fraud against him. And I urge everybody to get involved with that process. File fraud against him. Because if he's, if he's a public entity, he should be holding public services, which he's not. But he's still taking in deposits and, and donor, donor money without holding public services anymore. He's, he's completely abused the 501c3, everybody. He saw a loophole in it. He's like, oh, I can do this. Fuck, I'm going to just fuck it over as long as I can. And he's got lawyers to back him up to do it. What's that tell you about the system? You got, you got crooked churches. You got crooked lawyers. Crooked government. Crooked system. I'm not here to like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist either, guys. I'm just looking at it the way I see it. I mean, a winners and king gets involved with a fucking forced labor cult. Somebody who know whose fucking face is all over the internet being an asshole, David. I mean, Winners and King, did you not look into your client before you took him on and sent me out that letter or what? Did you guys know that he's running a, a fucking forced labor cult and a fucking human trafficking di fucking operation? Laundering money from the IRS? I mean, did you guys even look into that or did you guys just take the money and not even give a shit about who you're representing? Because this just all shows how, how the, there's a breakdown in the system. You got corrupt churches fucking having lawyers try to silence people. I find that pretty fucking appalling. Just, just saying. I mean, who, what church, what attorney takes on a corrupt church, a fucking human trafficking cult, forced labor cult? <clears throat> this has to stop, guys. This has to stop. And if you guys watch the body language of the main cult members that are there anymore, to, it's, who is it usually? Tony, Joseph, and Ashley? I mean, they all look just fucking run down and tired, everybody. They look run down, tired, just under complete fucking delusions. They look malnourished, everything. Not getting enough fucking sun, for sure. They look real fucking pasty white. They really do. They're not getting any sun. They're not getting the right food. I mean, these guys aren't eating healthy. They're probably eating the bare minimum of what it takes to sustain, like, a fucking healthy body. Really are, guys. These people aren't, like, David is not going to feed these people properly. He's got, there's going to be people down at the main headquarters in Taylor, Michigan. Always, guys. There's always going to be somebody guarding that building. Right? But they don't hold church services there. They just have three people there anymore. It's Tony, Ashley, and Steve. Some Tony, Ashley, Joseph, and Steve. Sometimes it'll be Mariah, but that's it. You don't even see a praise and worship team there anymore. <clears throat> so why hasn't the government stepped in? Why hasn't the FBI stepped in? <clears throat> I mean, there are articles saying that the FBI was asking around, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to think, the, I would like to think that the FBI isn't going to waste resources unless they absolutely feel there's something on the other end. But who knows? Maybe they're just asking around. But at the end of the day, this is a human trafficking cult, man. This is, there is human trafficking going on here. David's get down is he got, he has to bring in members to maintain his his machine. The more members that leave, he ha if a member leaves, he's got to replace that member with somebody because if not, that's one less person on the phone that he can have scamming people. And that's what David's get down is, everybody. It's a phone scam. He legit trolls Facebook pages. We have interviews from survivors saying, yes, that's what he does. And that's that's how his get down is. That's his get down. He is scamming people through social media, which which blows my fucking mind how it's like social media is the tool to scam people now. And David's David has fully exploited it. I mean, he's he, he had one of his members come out saying they prophesied the queen's death. It was Steve Smith's daughter, Jenny. Like, Jenny Smith, really? Get the fuck out of here. What's really funny about all this, like the prophesying of the queen's death, is that you guys do it after the fact. You never say, oh, this was before. It's like, oh, you come out afterwards and say, oh, we knew this was going to happen. Get the fuck out of here. If you if you guys were true prophets, you would have known the exact time and date she was going to pass. Then you would have came out like, I don't know, six months earlier said, hey, the queen's going to die on this time and date. But no, you guys didn't. You waited till the, the day she died, after she died, to say, oh, we, we prophesied the queen's death. Yeah, she was 96 years old, David. The fuck out. She's going to live longer than you still. Her name will carry on a lot longer than David E. Taylor's. David. 
Just think about that. David E. Taylor's name will live on as like a, a compulsive scam artist and an, an oppressor of fucking of souls, dude. That's what you're gonna go down as. You're gonna go down as an oppressor of souls, man. You're a you're a fucking you're you're a bottom feeder for souls, dude. That's what you do. You bottom feed on the fucking most helpless people in the world, David. That's what you are. You are the oppressor of the helpless, dude. You you sink below like a bottom feeder. That's that's the limits that you are, David. Like the the fact that you take advantage of the most helpless and hopeless people, then you put them in your forced labor cult. And David, I know facts, David. David, 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 David. Your opinion is a lie. Your opinion is a lie, David. You can't even come out and show your face. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. Don't call him David. David. David, David, David. Don't call him David. That was a phone call that somebody got from Michelle. Now it was a pretty rowdy phone call. Anyways. Back to the human trafficking. Michelle's involved in the human trafficking too. She's Michelle is the soft face of the cult to fool people into the cult. That's what everybody has told us on the channel. Hey, Michelle's like the first one you see and it's like a big fucking love bombing. It's like, check out Shayla Hudson's channel. She's one of the cult survivors. There's there's also uh, Tom and Dion that have done interviews on my channel. I, I urge everybody to listen to those interviews and be your own judge. Be your own judge. Make your own decision. I'm not here to make anybody's decision for them. Be your own judge. Use your own mind. That's what we're doing here is looking at everything behind. We're taking religion off the table basically with this asshole because he's not religious. It's gone beyond religion at this point. Again, it's gone beyond Jim Jones, beyond Koresh, beyond Heaven's Gate. I mean, beyond Mother of God. You know, it's gone beyond, <clears throat> or what was that? Uh, Love, Love is One where they fucking... They wrapped the mother of God in these fucking Christmas lights and blanket after she died. I could see that happening in David's cult, for sure. <clears throat> but let's go back to the to the operation of Michelle. Michelle is... You could compare... It would be safe to compare Michelle Brandon to Ghislaine Maxwell. 100%. It would be safe to compare her to Ghislaine Maxwell. She grooms people. Michelle grooms people for David. No doubt. If anybody's noticed too, these women blonde themselves out for David. They make themselves blonde. David has, it's a power complex. These blonde women, check this out because David's such a fucking hideous slob. Like for all these blonde women, it really is like, it for a black man in America to have these beautiful blonde women, white blonde women, it's really, it's like a power complex. And I've talked to black men in this and they've said, yeah, no dude, that's true. It's, it's this huge power complex that for this hideous fucking black man that says, he, says he's a prophet to have all these really gorgeous looking women around him, it gives him this huge fucking power complex, right? But what these women don't know at the end of the day is that he's not going to give them anything in return except a fucking a hard time and a shitty life. That's it. That's it. Ashley? Alyssa? All the women in there? Jenny? I mean, what are you guys getting out of this? Honestly, what do you guys get out of this at the end of the day? Is he paying you? What do you guys get? You guys are supposed to be there in this great ministry. What do you guys get at the end of the day for giving up your whole life? Alienating your families. Cutting off ties with friends, loved ones. That's true. This is really happening, everybody. It's happening as we speak. Right now. This very moment. People's lives are being destroyed by this clown. 100%. Lives are being destroyed and unless the unless there's bureaucratic and government involvement nothing's going to happen we could be we could be seeing we could we could be witnessing another uh, heaven's gate type situation really look what happened look where heaven's gate was in, in what was it san diego it was it was a big mansion right <clears throat> and i it's a scary thought to think about but it's a, it's a possibility i'm not saying it's a high possibility but it is a possibility that we could see on the news a bunch of bodies being hauled out of that mansion down there in Florida because of a fucking mass suicide event. Everybody's be like, oh, well, what's going on here? Well, we've been fucking out here saying it for the last two years that you guys need to pay attention. That there's something very, very distinct and shady going on with this cult.
That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Everybody wants to see this asshole in jail, just as I do. That's the main goal here is to see him in jail. Prison photos. He, he deserves time for sure. He scammed a lot of people. He's hu- committing huge fucking white collar crimes, guys. Huge white collar crimes. You start committing those crimes, that's where you start getting into like human trafficking and shit, man. You start making that kind of money, it's easy to fucking throw money around and get people to come from another church and move to David's. And These churches, what they do, they do. They shuffle people around within. Like David has connections from other churches that, and they shuffle people around between these churches, you guys. That's how she- Shayla Hudson had put it, is they bring you in from other churches. And then they, that's how some of the people ended up at David's church, is that they started another church and they ended up at David's and then that's where they ended up getting fucked over. That was like the, the end of the line for them, basically, was at David's church. It's very dangerous what this guy's doing. And there's people on the channel, I've said, hey, I want to infiltrate this place. Don't fucking do it. Don't even try, okay? Don't do it. They're not accepting applications. Um, and it's dangerous, okay? Because you never know what they're capable of these people are fanatics, okay? These people are fanatics. They will do anything for David E. Taylor, especially seeing how they're doing it for God, okay? You gotta think about that. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? I don't want anything bad happening to anybody from the channel or anybody out there that's listening for that matter. Don't go to these places. Don't. You wanna get, you wanna see them stop, start reporting them to the FBI, to the government, to your local police, Start filing fraud against them. Start filing trafficking reports because you can do this. If you're tax- paying taxes, you can file fraud against these assholes. Get them on the IRS watch list because you know what? Once they're on the IRS watch list, they start getting the feds and shit involved, okay? Because those organizations, they do work together. But as far as them sharing information, who knows what they share? But with what David's doing, it with all the 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 news reports that have come out, I would like to think that he's probably being looked at. I would like to think that he's being looked at right now. I mean, why Why are they going to go... The feds, it says in the news articles from Riverfront Times. I mean, why are the feds out there knocking on doors? Good question, right? Good question. I, I'd like to think they're not going to waste any resources on an asshole like David. Again, unless there's something at the end at the end game. And agree. I agree, man. There's there's something here that they, they're trying to harvest. And uh, it's going to be a big one, I think, when they fucking open it up. I, I, I've, in my opinion, because of who he's dealing with, with some loans, like there's international money laundering going on here. 100%. There's international money laundering going on here. And this is where people get fucking shady, man. This is where people get shady. And you start getting into the crimes like that. Again, you start getting into like, you start rubbing shoulders with some really shady people. And then another reason why David could be hiding behind his high walls is because he's fucking scared. Is he scared? Is because no doubt he's pissed off a lot of people in his life. 30 years, 35 years of scamming people with religion, David. Telling everybody you're the prophet and you're this great healer and you're going to give them all this glory and shit. And Nope. All they give you is their money. Then what do you do? Run a trafficking cult. This is a real cult, guys. This is, excuse me. This is a real cult. The dynamics are there. Look it up. Apply all the dynamics. The bite model, Stephen Hassan's cult. It's, what is it? Um, cult bite model. Behavior, information. Look it up. Yeah, okay. It's, uh... Hello? Sorry, got a call. Um, that might have been the call I was waiting for too about calling me out earlier this morning, but I'll get back to them. Um, it is a forced labor cult, you guys, okay? It is a forced labor cult. The longer it goes on, the more people are going to be destroyed. The more families are going to be screwed over by this guy. No doubt, guys. This is it has gone... Situation critical at this point. We need to get these people out. We need to get them help. We need to stop David. Not vigilante methods, but we need to do it bureaucratically. We need to get the government involved. Everybody, start filing fraud reports with me, guys. There's a thousand plus subscribers on my YouTube channel. If a thousand of those live in America, if 
if a, if everybody filed one, if a thousand people filed one fraud report all at the same time in one week and fucking flooded the IRS's mailbox with these, holy shit, man, they would fucking have to do something, guys. They couldn't ignore us. They can't fucking ignore us. People think what, what we're doing here is, is pointless, that we're wasting our time. Nothing's going to get fixed. I highly disagree. I think it's people like that that don't want it to get fixed. And it's mostly people that are religious saying, oh, you guys are wasting your time. It's I, I personally believe it's they don't want their their game to be had. You know, They don't want their gig to be up. I believe in people believing in God for sure. I mean, religion is like the pinnacle of our, of our country. The foundation of our country is religion, right? But again, they, the religious leaders have exploited it to the fullest, man. They've gone beyond religion. David's gone way beyond religion. He's not even Christian. David's not Christian. He claims to be God-like and Christ-like and God's best friend. Yeah, no, he is not God's best friend, everybody. He's money's best friend. Money is his best friend, and that's it. David's get-down is money. Money, 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 money. That's all he cares about. It's, again, forced labor cult, you guys. Forced labor cult. I'm going to go ahead and tie it up there, man. Y'all, thanks for listening tonight, I, this morning. I just wanted to... You know, put this out there. This is a forced labor cult, everybody. It is a forced labor cult. Um, and I urge everybody to check out that website I was talking about, onemorechild.org. If you have a family member that's in this cult and you want to see them get out or you need help or you need resources, get with those people. Onemorechild.org and the other one was DCF, Department of Child and Family. And that's, that is, a, I believe that's a federal, a federal entity. Like it's a nonprofit. Like it's government entity. Um, the DCF Department of Child and Family and they have resources there to help you too Okay, there's numbers out there for you guys if you need help so with that being said man y'all have a good Monday happy Monday have a, have a safe day, good day and uh, you know we gotta keep the limelight on this guy until he's stopped we can't, we can't let this go on because the government surely isn't doing anything about it at this point we need to make people more aware of this forced labor engine it's in Avila Country Club down there in Lutz, Florida, Tampa, Florida. David E. Taylor just bought the mansion from Darcy Glazer Kazowitz from the Buccaneers, NFL Buccaneers. That's who he bought that mansion from, Darcy Glazer Kazowitz. I mean, it, and the thing is, is we found out because of an article that was posted, and it wasn't because of who bought it, it's because of who sold it. It's just the journalist, they, they did a great job, I forget her name, but... I had emailed her and told her everything else that was going on with it. And, uh, you know, in, in, in these situations, it's it's really all about the money with these mansions, man. I, 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 I'm I kind of believing that these people in these, these upscale areas, they don't give a fuck that there's a forced labor cult living there. It's all about money to them. And they're paying fees. They're paying a lot of money per month. So... That being said, man, you guys got questions, comments, concerns, by all means, check me out on my YouTube channel, David Taylor, Full Frontal Exposure, where everybody's opinion is a lie. I do have Google Voice number set up, too. Um, if you want to text, that's the best way, really, to get a hold of me. I, I have it really set up for cult survivors if they want to talk um, and get their information out to the channel because these people usually don't want to show face because they're still very scared. So this is kind of like a, an intermediary for them to share their voice without showing face and letting people know, hey, this is a dangerous cult and there is people being destroyed by this person, David E. Taylor, and that it is very destructive in nature and it needs to be stopped. I urge everybody to get involved. Help us. Start reporting him to the local authorities. File the fraud reports. I have them on my channel. Links are there. They're pre-filled. All you have to do, everybody, print those forms out Put them in an envelope and mail them. That's it. You don't even got to sign them. The one you have to sign. The one you have to sign. But you can put like, hey, I don't want I don't want my name being known. It's usually how it goes, okay? They're, when I'm filing these reports, I, David knows I'm filing because I put it out here to let everybody know like, hey, I'm doing this. Because it's, it, I want everybody to know that there's nothing they can do about it. That the government, the IRS, the feds, nothing. There's nothing David can do to stop us from filing those reports. Absolutely nothing. He's tried. He's tried. We're protected. Trust me. There's nothing they can do for you guys to, to get involved um, filing against them. They're not going to come after you. It would be illegal. It would be witness tampering if they came after you for filing a fraud report, especially a fucking IRS report. 
oh man, they would be in so much trouble, you guys, for witness tampering like that. They, 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 would, they would receive time just for witness tampering on a federal case because IRS is federal, man. The shit that he's doing is federal. You start witness tampering on a federal case, guess what? They're going to fucking set you up for 20 years just for witness tampering, David. Try it, dude. Try it. You can't, David. You cannot. The cease and desist is almost like witness tampering. For him to try and tell me to stop filing the fraud reports or I'm going to face repercussions, that's fucking saying that, that was a scare tactic. That was to get me to stop. That was it. Scare tactic to get me to stop, to get me to take my channel down and remove all my videos, but it didn't work. Had the exact opposite effect. So, I urge everybody to get involved. Help us stop him. If you've asked that question, if you're listening, if you've asked that question, why isn't David E. Taylor in jail or this man needs to be in jail, you're absolutely right. He does, but he's, he's not going to be put in jail without bureaucratic help. Has to be done that way, guys. They're not just going to knock on his door and be like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Taylor? Uh, can we check your books? No, they're going to do a formal investigation where they will do a full-blown forensic audit on all of his fucking books. And not just some fucking half-assed accountant. They'll probably be specialists from the IRS that audit books and be like, yeah, we're going to fucking go ahead. Let us see every fucking bank account you have, every cent you've earned, every dollar. They're pulling in cash donations too, guys. They can write, They can take those cash donations and it, hide them anywhere. They don't got to show them. They don't got to show them. Cash donations, you know where those go? Right into David's pocket. Right into his pocket. Because he doesn't have to claim those. Cash donations, brush those under the rug, man. But he's taking in cash app, PayPal, Zelle, crypto, checks, money orders. He'll take anything you give him. Houses, properties. This guy will take anything you will give him. He doesn't care if it's a fucking shirt off your back. He doesn't care if it's a shirt off your back, shoes on your feet. No, he won't care. He doesn't care what state of mind you're in, if you're mentally ill. He doesn't care if you're depressed, have anxiety, taking medication to help some kind of uh, mental illness. He doesn't care. He does not care. He's not Christian, guys. Keep that in mind. 